All right, what's up everybody? We're back in the shop. We got some new lights, new lightage, a little brighter in here. We got my awesome sign over there. Not only that, we got some microphones. I told you we just gotta wait for Santa Claus. I knew it was coming. I had a feeling it was coming. I didn't know it was coming. She surprised me. Kaylee's a good lady. Anyways, I hope you guys can hear me better. Hopefully you guys, everything gonna start working out. We can see a lot better now. I got lights over there. I got two more lights over here. I think I'm gonna get another light for over there in the corner, but hey, for right now, I think we're doing great. I think we're doing great. So, I really hope everybody's Christmas went as good as mine. I, mine was amazing. Microphone, hopefully that's working good. Hopefully we're not getting any feedback or anything like that. I don't know how to use it. Gonna have to learn how to edit with it and all the new things. But, new lights, new improvement. Uh, video, we put my brother's F100 Ford video out. Um, it was actually supposed to be out after this one, and then I got excited. I just wanted to get something else on the channel for a second. So, so we got the Christmas cruise, of course. We didn't get my brother's truck ready in time for the Christmas cruise, even though we really, really wanted to, but that's all right. I know we'll get it running. I think he's working on it today. I'm actually not sure. I haven't talked to him today. So, made me my little template for this side. I think we're gonna start getting it done. Start cutting this out. I might have to split it down the center because I have multiple angles there. I have this angle, of course, and then I have this angle. I think it'd be easier if we just cut it in half and then I can shape it because you know how I gotta shape it. I gotta shape it with a hammer. Basically have to shape, shape that with a hammer and a rock. That's what we have. So let's get, to, let's get to cutting, let's get to shaping. See how we're gonna do it. I don't know how we're gonna do it either. We're just gonna go for it, I know that. We're just gonna go for it, so let's do it. Let's have some fun. Shears, these aren't really shears that are made to turn, so it's gonna be kinda hard, but I can do straight lines. So we'll do maybe straight line, straight line, and that's how we'll have to do it. Let's see how we, see how we do here. Yeah. There we go. Hope you guys can hear me. Now I don't have to move the camera as much around, and uh, you guys can still see me and all the craziness we got going on. Right, let me bring you over here. See what we got. I'll show you what we got. It's really weird being able to be this far and talk. We got a long, long way to go, but that's all right. We knew it was gonna be quite the process anyways. I mean, didn't we? I think everybody did. <laughs> I think what I wanna do first is I wanna put a roll in it. Yeah, like I said, I might have to cut it right here, cut it in half get my roll in it the way I want to. I'm not sure how I'm gonna roll it either. So I think if we can just slightly, just ever so slightly, just keep moving this around where we're not kinking it, we're not doing anything too wild and reckless. And we'll start taking it over to the car. I can't get quite in the middle, but what can get in the middle is a hammer. <laughs> All right, so that's just, I got one little crease in it right there. I didn't want that, but we can bend that out of it. Shouldn't be a problem. But already, she's starting to take off in the right direction, I think, because look at that. Now, this isn't where it's supposed to be. I can't hold it there from here, but not like that. Like I said from the beginning, it'd probably just be easier. I can make that out of one piece. I know I can. I just don't know if I want to put that much effort into it. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, you know, not fun when you're just struggling so i don't want to struggle why struggle i like to weld we can weld it so yeah i think i'm gonna cut it in half i think we can just go anywhere right here we're just gonna pick a spot already my spirits have been lightened <laughs> i feel a lot better about that already so you guys gotta remember that even if i had the fancy tools I don't know if I know how to use them. This is only, really the only thing I know how to use. I know it seems crazy, but hey. We'll get it. I know we will. 
just takes a little longer. If I had a roller or an English wheel or something, I mean, absolutely. Just use the inside shape inside of that of that there, and we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll have to beat it a couple different ways. This is probably going to take me about 10 minutes or so, but and we'll keep taking it over to the car and checking on it. We ain't going to get it all in one go around, and I, I know that, and I understand that. Just from a couple minutes of hitting that thing, you can already kind of tell where we're starting to go. So definitely needs a lot more, but we're starting to get a little little yeah. shape there. <laughs> then I can reach my arms in here to the backside and hammer and dolly this all smooth. So I'm not worried about the little hammer dance. I just want to get the shape right now. Take a little step back here. And you can see that I did kind of get a little bit of a curve this way. That's what I was trying for. And of course, this way. This one is the way, but this one is the hard one, actually, the one that comes up and over. That one's the hard one. The roll here is not as hard, but it's hard to roll and go that way, if you know what I'm trying to say. So I like that. It's got a good round bubble shape to it. Like I said, all the hammer marks, I can get those out once we get it all kind of in place. So yeah, I don't know. I like it. Let's take a step back here. Oh man, I'm excited. That's going to look good. All right, guys, I think I got moved around and placed pretty much where I want it. Just got one little tack there holding it on and I tacked right there. I think that's a good place to start. I think I'll cut up. I think I'll cut up this line right here and tack as I go. That way nothing's moving. Everything's going the shape that I want it to go. Oh yeah, it's got a nice little round contour to it now. Nice little roundness. I like that. Might need Tyler or somebody here to push in from the inside, push out as I cut and weld my way around there. And I don't have anybody with me right now, but I might be able to do it on my own, I don't know. One thing for certain is nothing certain. <laughs> here we go. A little more gap than I wanted, I think, with the cut. Oh, must have had my wrong cutoff wheel. I, I, run, I have two different cutoff wheels. I have the, the really cheap uh, Harbor Freight wheels that I really like to do this kind of stuff because they're a little skinnier. But, of course, when they're skinnier, you know, they have the tendency to break a little more often. But I actually haven't broke them that often. And when it does this sheet metal stuff like this, it actually works better because uh, the cut line is a lot smaller. So that was my bad for not having that the right one on there. That's all right. That doesn't doesn't hurt us, and it doesn't change a thing. Still gonna keep on going. Still gonna keep on going here. And this might not be final. These few tacks are really easy to cut and change. If I want to change it again, it's not a big deal. We are not married to it. We are not married to it yet. All right. Let me put a different cutoff wheel on real quick. Come over here, grab a fresh, skinnier cutoff wheel. I didn't even realize I didn't have one of those on there earlier. Phone trucking. Yeah, so I'm going to put this little skinnier, smaller one on there. Won't quite be so much gap in between there. Not that that's bad. That ain't bad at all. I mean, that's just about everybody that uses cutoff wheels will get. But like I said, I do like to use the cheaper ones for this just to cut them in there a little better, a little cleaner, a little smaller. Yeah, see that is a lot smaller than that. Looks like we're pretty even right there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it together. Go ahead and stick that together right there. That looks good there. 
I'm gonna have to hammer and dolly. There's a little low spot right here in the middle, right where I'm tacking, where all those corners come together. So I'll have to hammer and dolly that. I don't wanna put too much tack there for right now. Less tack we put on that stuff right now, the more I can manipulate stuff later or the easier so I won't put any more tax there for now until I get that just a right in that corner just a little bit of a low spot right there but everything else is actually shaping up real good we'll cut this right here next get that welded and go in the right direction and then we'll come in and cut this right here get that welded and go in the right direction if I can cut right the inside of that line I think everything will start to come together then we'll come in here, we'll cut a little bit, see if we can get it where we want it, weld it, tack it. I like using little screwdrivers to come in here and you can just pick up and move things wherever you need to move them. And it works out really good when you do it that way. Okay, so I'm liking that right there. I'm liking that mo, mo better already. I'm gonna do a light little tack there. So I'm probably gonna change it. I just kinda wanna overall see what we got going on here. Start, start making our way now, it looks like. I don't wanna move this too much because we're pretty much in line everywhere. There we go. I don't wanna move that top too much, there we go. Guys, make sure I want everybody to know, I think I had a comment, kind of make sure everybody knows that I'm closing my eyes when I'm arcing this. Every time, every time I press this button, I close my eyes. And I wait just a, a second after because that glow, that orange glow is really bright to your eyes. Like you probably shouldn't even be looking at the glow that's that bright. But I promise I'm closing my eyes every time. I've done this for so long, sometimes maybe it doesn't seem like I'm closing my eyes or I don't care, but I do care about my eyes, guys. I promise you I do. And you need to care about yours too, so make sure you're not looking right at it. Like I said before, I don't like flipping my helmet up and down, up and down when I'm talking and doing the YouTube stuff, which I know I should. So kids, if you're out there, remember, safety third and make sure... You never look at a, even a tack weld. Don't look at a tack at all. Just don't do it. Make sure you guys are being safe and taking care of your eyes because it's the only pair you got. I'll promise you that. Let's step back and take a look at it real quick. All right. So, doesn't look too bad, too flat anywhere. I think that's gonna work out pretty good, to be honest with you. What do you guys think? Then we just got that piece there. I think I can make that all out of one piece, and if not, we'll make it out of two pieces. Who cares? My car. Start, start cutting this flush here. We'll see what we get. Like I said, I might need somebody to hold this or help me, so we'll see how far I go. I'm just gonna go from here to there, and we'll see what we get. We'll just start real easy. See, I need somebody to, yeah, like that. That's what I need. Oh, there we go. I'm actually able to push the welder down in there, make it flush. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Everything's a hammer. Everything's a hammer in my garage. Okay. Let's go right there. Don't want to manipulate it too much. Just a little. Just a little. I think we'll cut back a little more. Okay. That looks like it went perfect right there. That looks like it's really good right there.
And we're just going to keep on cutting and welding, just like we're doing it. Looks like I'm good there. So we're just going to keep on moving slow. Hmm. Oh, how did I do that? I had it perfectly. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, I kind of found me a little, kind of a cool little spot I can put my screwdriver in. And that's what I'm talking about. Huh. Well, that worked out pretty good. Just trying to keep them nice and uniform and straight. We'll probably have to do a little body work. There's no doubt in my mind. I, I'm not doubting that at all. I am not doubting that whatsoever. Now we can start putting this piece in. I think this piece might be a little harder than that piece, actually. I had this to kind of guide guide the shape up here. I don't really have that. So, so I feel like it's going a little flat right towards the top, and I want to just kind of move that around just a little bit. Doesn't take much. And like I said, when you don't have it fully welded, it's a lot easier to move that stuff around. These tacks are pretty pretty strong, so I felt like it was getting real flat right here. Like it was just kind of I want it to keep that around. Because it's got to come up here where this is round. This has got to be round too. So that's gonna be probably our hard piece, like I said. Alright. Looks like we got that piece pretty much where it's gonna be. Pretty happy with that. I got that little kink out of it right there. Just a little hammer and dolly, nothing crazy. Um, but I think let's go ahead and move on up here. And uh, hopefully we don't get our butt kicked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's start. I just kind of roll it just kind of how I did the, on the other one. But remember, I got to roll it this way, too. That's going to be the hard part. So stick it up there and see what we get. Yeah, I think I want to make that roll. I think I want to make this roll here a little closer to the edge. I feel like it's too far that way. So I'm going to pound it over just a little bit. So I don't have a shrinker. This is pretty straight. But you can use a vise as a shrinker. The reason I'm saying that is because I've done it. So I'm going to try and put a little bit of curve. It takes a while. But you can use it pretty much the same way. Just give it a little, just a little, little touch, like just a little bit, and it'll go just a little bit. Ever so slightly. And remember, like, we just want to make sure we're not getting any kinks and stuff. And if we get a kink, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to come back up here. And as I'm bending it over, I'm actually, so I'm actually going bending this way a little bit and I'm bending over so it puts that natural shape in that and stick it in there further if you want but I just need just a little bit you don't need a whole lot and it'll start it'll start coming right over for you okay. already you can kind of see it's a little wobbly but like I said we can hammer that out but it's starting to get that natural curve we'll get it we'll get it a little bit of a Weird spot right there. And we're just twisting just a little bit both ways here. So it kind of pinches itself, you know what I mean? So it kind of pinches itself. I think my big purchase, my next big purchase would be a plenishing hammer. Um, a mobile plenishing hammer. I think that's something I would really want. So I would use that a lot. This would plenishing hammer really, really fast, really quick. Um, if I could get one of those, that would probably be my next best best thing, even over an English wheel. English wheel would work too. Thought about making my own English wheel. Maybe we'll do that. I kind of want to make some of my own tools. I kind of want to make a plen a plenishing hammer and an English wheel both, where all I got to do is change the heads out and stuff. Got to dodge around some things here. Oh yeah, yeah. Just even just a few more. 
even just a few more taps. If we're a little aggressive on the on the bend here, but down here, I mean, hopefully you guys can see this, but down here it's actually really good. And actually that curve is really good too. And yeah, we got just a few little marks in it from the vise, a few little hammer marks, but like I said, we plan to shouldn't hammer that, or, or I'm sorry, we uh, the hammer and dolly to that, and it won't take it won't take much. But we are real close there, guys. So I think I think we're close enough. Um, I think we're close enough. We'll just start maybe tack it in a few places, and then we'll figure out which side we want to uh, we want to put in first cut. a little bit, and then tack a little bit, cut a little bit, tack a little bit. And this old Betsy be right back together, I'm telling you what. Choo-wee! Like hot mantequilla on a tortilla. If you're Chicano, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're just gonna tack it. I think we're just gonna tack it to hold it in place real quick. Put one right there, maybe one right here. Gotta hold it. Look at everything, make sure everything's going good. Maybe put one right here to you, nice and flat as we can get it. Now, <clears throat> I'm not knocking nobody, but a lot of guys will use like, I guess they're called like zip screws or self tappers and they'll self tapper everything down and they'll look at it. And I, the only reason I don't do that is because I don't, I don't see the need. Then you got to go get self tappers, you got to go get your drill, you got to drill it in. When you have the welder right here and it's just as easy just to cut it, just turn that on and cut it. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm not knocking nobody who does it. I have done it. Um, but I'm always like, okay, well now I gotta walk over, get my get my uh self tappers, and I gotta walk back over with my drill and get everything ready and then do it, and then when I could have just tacked it and whatever. I just feel like it goes a little bit quicker that way. I think. We're just gonna do like we always do and we'll start cutting. Start cutting it in. I'm gonna do one little more right there. You see what I mean? Like you already have your welder. There's no reason to go get self tappers on it. That's just my opinion. You know, and then you have a hole where the self tapper was. I don't I don't know. You're already gonna be doing a million tacks anyways. You might as well just tack it up. And if you gotta cut it off, then just cut it off. You know, one or two tacks will hold pretty much anything in place for you to really really get a look at it but honestly guys like i said this is only i think i have maybe 20 minutes in this whole piece and i think we had like a, an honest honest to goodness i think we have like a whole half hour in this so about an hour just to where we are now cut this in and get it tacked in honestly we're not you know i'm not the fastest and i'm not trying to be the fastest i'm actually trying to make sure i'm getting it to where i like it but this stuff doesn't take long once you just kind of get going. You just got to, you got to get in there and do it. You just have to do it. See what we get. Hopefully it comes out good. And if it doesn't, you're going to redo it. <laughs> That's for sure. Best thing about metal is we can redo it. I think I'll cut this real quick and then we'll start tacking it in place. See what we get. Oh, there's my hammer. I was looking all over that deal. I swear, sometimes I just... Put stuff down and I can't find it right away. That's that's for sure. Story of my life. <laughs> okay. Now, start cutting back here. Just keep on moving. That's how we're going to do the whole thing. That's it. Trying to put no pressure on the top so nothing's moving, nothing's changing. We don't want changing. We don't want distortion. We want, want to be nice and relaxed. Okay. Nothing else to it but to do it for sure. Put on some oldies. If you're doing this at home, put on some oldies music, man. Just get into the groove, you know what I mean? Yeah, got to throw on some oldies and just cruise. We're already cruising this thing in our head, so 
Might as well just listen to all these while it's getting built. It's really falling into place, basically. It's really doing pretty good. A little more better. A little more better. Everything pushed up even where we want. There we go. Just like that. Yep. That's going to do it. I'm telling you. We shape. We don't put a whole lot of tacks. Then we start shaping. That way we can still move stuff. That way we can still move it. All right, time to cut across down here. It goes pretty quick. Let's see right there. Yeah. All right, we're moving right along here. Got the heater on. I hope it's not too loud, guys. Moving right along. Everything looks like it's transitioning pretty good. So that right there wasn't fitting as good as I really wanted it to. So I'm gonna come back in here and just redo it just a little bit. <laughs> just one of them things. I'm probably being too picky to be honest with you. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, I think we'll just go right here. Just keep on trucking. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. That's all we can do. <laughs> I've said it a hundred times, but it's all we can do is just keep on going. All right, how's that look? I went ahead and cut through both layers, but that's a nice, pretty clean little line there. We can, we can do better, but it's not too bad, I gotta say. I'm the only one here, so I gotta say it. <laughs> sometimes I like to be alone, sometimes I don't. You know, you know. Hopefully, hopefully it all works out. I don't want to do this again, but like I said earlier, we don't have a whole lot of time in this. It's actually going even better and a little a little faster than I even thought it was going to go to be, if I got to be really honest with you guys. It's going even better than I thought it was going to. And that ain't no joking. I'll grab my brass hammer here. It's always good to have just brass stuff. Uh, somebody even hit me up in the comments and said, hey, need brass hammer. And I was like, actually, I have one. <laughs> I have one. Yes, sir. And it does smooth things right along. Makes things go a lot faster. Having that brass hammer there to hold everything together. You don't have to worry about blowing through nothing. All right, guys. That's pretty much what we got right now. That is what I'm talking about. That's looking pretty good. I'm not worried about this one right here. That one's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be the same method. Make it just a little bit bigger and then cut both sides in. Uh, we got to watch out for the bolt holes here that hold the trunk on. Like I said, we got some hammer and dolly work. I probably could have made that a little smoother, honestly, guys. I probably could have, but for what we got, shaping that literally with a hammer 
and my vice, <laughs> like we do everything. Try to see. It's pretty straight, pretty even. I mean, I ain't gonna complain about that, guys. <laughs> and like I said, I never said it wasn't gonna get any body work. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it'll need some body work. Um, you know, especially shaping it with a hammer. But I think when we come back, we'll do start doing some motor stuff. We'll get this motor out. We'll have everything welded up on the next video. And maybe do if if there's any cool welding stuff or stories that happen, I'll let you guys know about it. But right now, it's just gonna be tacking. 100 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. Same thing, same principle here. Nothing's gonna change. We're gonna do everything exactly the same way. I might even use the same template that I had, the paper template, and flip it over and see if it works there. And if it doesn't, we'll just make a new one. It, it really doesn't matter, but you know, we got this little piece right here we're gonna make. I might even, might even make that right now, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, so we got the motor coming out soon. This 454, of course, is Aaron's. We've said that before. And we got that awesome 5.3 LS. Might be going in here. We're not, still not sure about that. Might be keeping that for something else. We're not sure. All right. Just wanted to... I just hit it with the DA real quick. Did a few more tacks. But I think I'm pretty happy with that tonight. I think it looks pretty good. Take a step back. What do you guys think? Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Oh, you might have noticed this too. Went ahead and filled this hole. Just real quick. Nothing special there. I've already showed you guys pretty much what I do. I just found an old piece. And cut it right in there. Went right in. So, yeah. Now we got, you know, a thousand more tacks to go. Just, just how we did this. We'll do this the same way. And just cut us a little strip goes all the way around we'll make it out of paper first and cut it out of our thing out of our uh, piece of steel over there we'll lay it in here where it overlaps just a little bit we'll just cut it in tack it up same way same deal but there you go guys tell me what you guys think I'm pretty happy with that I like the big back window still especially now that it's kind of enclosed there you go you kind of see it there I like the big back window, or the bigger back window, I guess. If you guys remember, this was clear up here. Or this right here was right there, actually. So, yeah. I, I still like it. I think it flows really good. There's not a lot of cars like this one, for sure. With that bigger back window, a lot of the guys do them a lot smaller. And I'm not knocking anybody, I promise. I just, you know... Just, just saying what I feel and what I, what I seen, kind of what I wanted to do. I think it'll look real good when we put the hood on it. Maybe I'll put the hood on it tomorrow and start having a real good look at this thing. My favorite comments by far are the ones that are the guys that say that I'm motivating them to go out in the garage and do it. You guys can do it, man. And just like my buddy, his famous words were, Mike Walker, he always said, an hour a day, just one hour a day will build your hot rod in one year. One hour a day will build your hot rod in one year, seven hours a week, and on the weekends, if you throw another hour in there, that's a full working day. You had one full whole day, and you worked, and you got stuff done, and in that hour, you usually get a lot more done in that hour when you get off of work. Before you go home, or before before you go inside, before you go in the house, kick the boots off, go in the, go in the garage, just make it a part of your day, Get your hour in, you'll get a lot of progress done in that hour. And at the end of the week, you have seven hours if you do it every single day for one hour. That's a full working day, pretty much. And, you know, that's that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. A lot of us would like to work on our car all day long. And that's what you get out of one week. So in one week or in one year, you know, at one hour a day, you'll build your hot rod. That's what Mike Walker's always told me. He lives and dies by that. And... And I believe him because that guy has built more cars than anybody I know. And I'm not kidding you. So thank you, Mike Walker, for teaching me that when we were young kids. That's Chad's dad, my buddy. Um, yeah, I believe him. One hour a day, uh, build your hot rod in one year. So get out there, get to work. Tell me in the comments what you're working on. And uh, we appreciate you. Um, head on over to our Instagram. When we post videos and stuff over there and sometimes we go live, we don't edit. So... <laughs> You know, might hear a few cuss words and stuff. That's just a bunch of guys hanging out in the garage. So 
that's gonna happen. It just happens. But uh, yeah, so head on over there, Helen Wolf Garage, uh, hashtag Helen Wolf Garage, or head on over to our our uh, Facebook page, Helen Wolf Garage on Facebook. So uh, yeah, hit us up, man. We'd like to see. We'll we'll throw a couple extra pictures in uh, in both of those throw places. Stuff. We'll start throwing more stuff up. So hit us up on Facebook, Helen Wolf Garage, and uh, on on Instagram. And like I said, anything we put on Instagram. It's pretty raw and you know it's just us guys hanging out in the garage so when we do videos and stuff sometimes there's some cussing it's just the way it's going to be but anyways i appreciate you guys thank you for watching and uh yeah let us know what you think in the comments we're going to keep on going we ain't going to stop until this thing's running and driving and uh unfortunately it's probably going to be for sale once it hits that stage you know it's time for us to move on so thank you guys good night